So these are called optical illusions. Have you heard of that before? Uh -uh. Well, actually, I don't really know what illusions are. So he doesn't reveal his real name. He does all these illusions under the name Brust Pop. Why do you think he doesn't want people to know his real name? Maybe because it's a go name. Maybe people used to make fun of his name. Maybe he just wants it to be anonymous. Because if people know his name, then he's gonna start being mobbed by like a billion people. Yeah, he has a funny name. Bob, Larry. Bob and Larry are funny names? <laughs> Well, would you say you liked these videos? Yeah. Yeah. I thought that they were cool. So that first one with the Rubik's Cube and the tape and the shoe, what was happening? It, they were like, it looked 3D, like it was real. But then like they were turning it and it looked, it was like getting longer and getting shorter. It was on the piece of paper. And then it would go down, down, down. Did you think they were real when you first saw them? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It could have been computer activated. It was real, except they just thought Emma made it, I think. I could kind of tell the Rubik's Cube was kind of fake because it had, no, it had no shine and, and there was a light over it. And when he spun it around, what went through your mind in the moment when you realized? What is going on? I thought, like, what's happening seriously? Why are they spinning a paper with a Rubik's Cube on it? And finally, the last one, what was happening with the cube? In the beginning, I wasn't really sure what was going on, and then the camera moved. Was it surprising to see that he could make it look like it was really hanging in the air like that? Not really. Yeah. 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 That was very shocking. That was kind of freaky at first, like, oh, he has a floating cube in his house. Wake up to that every morning. He must have, like, no life at all, because that would take forever to figure out. He has over a million subscribers and his videos get millions of views. Why do you think a channel all about illusions would be so popular? Cause it, it's like weird and then to people it seems funny. Maybe they wanna teach people optical illusions. Most people don't even know if it's illusions or special effect. They think that he's actually doing something impossible. YouTube is a house for many different things. We have everything here.